All right, so if we were to play it, you'll see that I've got the lip sync done. If I were a rough chicken, where would I hide out? Okay, that's acceptable. It's not great, but it works for me for now. I'm just going to move that mouth back down. I'm going to take the lip sync, and I'm actually going to make this back to, let's do 200 and hit OK. And then I'm going to make this one back to 100. I only needed it just so I, while I was working on it to make it a little bit easier. And mouth is not supposed to go there. It's supposed to go in front of the head. Okay. So, okay. So now what I'm going to do is just animate his brow because uh, that should work pretty well. So um, looks like, did I, let me see. Okay, yeah. So like, I don't see the <laughs> I don't see the rigging on it, but it's there. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and convert this whole thing just to the, let's just do classic tween. I think that would probably be best so so he's going to say let's see so i'm going to go here and just hit f6 um and then and i'm gonna have him go let's see and put his uh, his brows down basically at that point so let's go back come on mm -hmm. why you no work uh, oh because i gotta put a keyframe first hit c put it here okay f6 and we can go back to it. Sorry. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and have him kind of push his brow down. Like so. So it should be. And I wonder if that should be a little bit faster. And then what I'm also going to do is put one a little bit before. Uh, yeah. And actually, I'm going to put a key, let's say, here. So usually we want to anticipate most of our actions. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do his brow up a little bit. So he's going to go, let's see. If I were a pose, so I'm going to have him, so I'm going to put it here, and I'm just going to do a different pose. So I'll say F6, and this time I'm just going to kind of have this one like that. And then we can probably just pull this down a little bit, uh, like so. Go like, trying to get it to be a little bit more. So it needs a hold because it just goes down, but it should hold for a little bit. So I'm going to take this keyframe and we're just going to copy uh, that frame and let's just do it here. And I'm just going to paste that frame so that way it'll be animated. So let's see. And we'll just hold this for a little bit. If I were a rubber chicken, we'll just hold it to here. And then I'm just going to do a keyframe here. So basically, I just want that pose to hold for a little bit. And then he's going to put his brow down here. And then we'll just, um, I'm going to go kind of the opposite this time and go like this and lift this one up a little bit instead and put this one down a little bit. I mean, not that much. I'll use my arrow keys. Okay. And then we'll just put this one up a little bit more like so. All right, it's just so you can get an idea. So now if I play, okay, now with that, we also need to animate the eyes because I think that will actually kind of help sell this whole thing. So uh, I'm going to have to turn off this and hide that and turn on the pupils. And then we're just going to go ahead and key these. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do classic tween uh, or not classic tween. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and do motion tween. Um, because it doesn't, I'm not really worried about, uh, I'm fine with the way it's going to you know, be there. So we'll, uh, we got to do kind of the same thing. So I'm going to have his eye selected. So he's going to say, let's see. So um, they should sort of be in tandem with the brow. So I'm going to go ahead and just in here, hit F6. Or again, you just right click and uh, where are you? Uh, insert keyframe. There we go. Okay. So. And I'm actually going to move this over a little bit because um, he's going to do the brows and it's going to it's going to complete at the same time as his. So I'm going to have him look down sort of like this. OK, so he's going to go let's see. And that should actually be much faster. Um, eye movements are usually one or two frames. Let's see. Five. OK, and then we're going to do the same thing here. So. Uh, I want to end where the brow ends, so I'll do F6 there. I'm going to do another one uh, 
two frame right here. And I'll do one here. This one will stay the same, but this one, I'm now going to take this and have this actually go up. Let's have it go this direction. So he's like looking up, right? So he's going to go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I thought I had it going down. It's kind of weird. Okay. So we're going to have him look down into the side here. There we go. And then I'm just going to copy the properties here. I'm not sure what happened there. So copy, not copy frames. It's going to be copy properties. Go to this one and paste the properties. Paste properties. So he's going to go, let's see. I were chicken. Right? And then we're just going to do the same thing. Where would I hide out? So we'll just, um, again, I'm just going to say two frames before. I'll hit F6 so that I just keep that. Okay, and then we're going to go two frames after, and um, this one actually, I don't have to have sex because it'll automatically key, keyframe. And I'm just going to have him kind of look forward there. Okay, and now all we have to do is just turn this mask back on and lock both of these, and then now you'll see that the eyes. If I were a rubber chicken, where would I hide out? Okay, um, and what we could do with this as well, just to kind of help. You know, add a little more pizzazz to it. Um, we could let's see. Can I parent this to this? Mm, let me see. Uh, I didn't do this before, but I think we should be able to parent the mask to the eye. So that way, if I animate the eyes, it'll also animate the mask, and that way it'll be the same. So what I'm gonna do is once again, I'm just gonna go click on here and do classic, not classic. I keep doing that. I meant to do the motion tween. Okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing, basically. So I'll do F6 here. And then what I'm going to do is on this, I'm going to Q because I want to do the transform. And I'm going to hold Shift. Oh, not Shift, sorry. Uh, is it Control? Yeah, Control. So I just do the bottom a little bit. So it's going to be, let's see. So see how it kind of goes like that? So I'm just, and because I also parented the mask, the mask will also move with it. And then we'll key here. It's going to F6 so that we hold it. And then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to hold control, and this time go up. Oops. Control, or mm, why is that not? It's weird. Uh, control should, why do you know? It's not moving the way I want it. I'm just going to move them up a little bit. Uh, oh, because the pivot's way up there. I want the pivot to be on there. We're just going to uh, expand it a little bit. Seems to be doing something weird with the pupils, but hopefully it'll be fine. And then we'll just go here. And my key, F6. And what I'm going to do is actually just put it back to the regular. So I'm going to go to this one. Actually, we can go to this one because it's also the same. Right click on this one, and we're going to copy properties. And then here, I'm going to paste properties. Paste properties. So it goes back to normal. Yeah, I just want to make sure that this is indeed moving with it correctly. Oh, yeah, it's not. It's not. I guess it only is inheriting the um, the uh, the aspects of the uh, the because uh, I guess maybe because it's not keyed. I thought it would move with. It. I thought it would uh, uh, accumulate the same stuff. But it doesn't seem to. So let's see if we can do this. I'm going to grab this whole thing. Okay, we're going to right click and we are going to copy frames. No, I don't want to copy frames. I want to copy motion. And then we'll go here and let's see if this will work. And we want to paste motion. Yep, it kind of works. It's a little bit off, but you can see it has the same keys now as the one below it. So we can forget the stupid parenting. Uh, see can I just click on well whatever we'll leave the parenting it's not gonna hurt anything okay so now if I go back to masking oops sorry back to masking it well that's a little weird but you get the idea maybe I wouldn't do the eye thing but um okay so that's basically we'll say the facial animation let's see if I were a rubber chicken where would I hide out okay uh, and then the next one we'll do is I'll just probably animate the body and that'll be 
super easy. 